Hey all, welcome to Learn Biology and this is your Narasimhan. In this video, we will talk about topic cell division. So, cell division it has been classified majorly as a two process. One is a mitosis process and another one is a meiosis process. In this video, we will talk about topic in this video, mitosis process. I will meiosis process in another separate video. Okay, so before going any further, uh, what is a cell? What is a cell organelles? This is a detailed video in the description link. So, so it will be helpful for you to understand the cell division process. Okay, so what is a cell division? Why do cell divide? It's very simple. Entire living creatures on this world start their life as a unicellular organism starting as a zygote. So, from that unicellular organism zygote, we keep dividing and multiplying ourselves like 2 to 4, 4 to 8, 8 to 16. So that's how we grow and that's how where we stand where we are. So basically cell divides uh, because the cell needs to grow and old, needs, old cell needs to get replaced. Alright, so cell divisions. So cell division, I'm sorry, cell cycle. So cell cycle, there are three main stages. One is an interface, another one is mitosis, another one is cytokinesis. So interface is a phase where the cell actually live their life for what they are born for and mitosis is a cell division process and cytokinesis is where the cytoplasm is going to get divided into two. So let's see each and every process in detail. So first one is interface. So interfaces again can be classified as a three steps. One is a G1. Yes and G2 process. So in the phase it is a phase where actual a cell performs uh, what it has been prepared for. For example, if it is a cardiac cell, it will uh, actually do the heart pumping process. If it is a skeleton muscle, it will actually do the process of giving a support. So first one is a G1. So G1 phase the cell will grow to its max, almost double of its size and um, cell produce all these structures uh, needs to carry out its functions okay uh, so it's like just a phase where the cell is very silent and it just do what it needs to do so next one is a yes phase so s phase is a very important phase where the dna is getting copied uh, that's a very important phase because that's how a cell when it get divide it's divide as the same kind of or same type of cell. For example, cardiac cell divide as a cell of cardiac value and if a muscular cell is going to get divided and the another adjacent cell will also do the same performance which this cell is keep doing. So it's just like a copying, the DNA is just uh, growing and a replica, a copy of a DNA is getting prepared. Okay. And next one is a G, G2 phase. G2 phase is a phase where the cells say like, hey, uh, everything is okay. Uh, now you can start the dividing process. Okay. So here comes our mitosis process. So mitosis process is a very important process because here is the actual place where the cell is going to get divided into two. Okay. And here you want to understand how okay dna what is a dna sir adi enga irukum adu eppadi copy pannum abadina dna na inna adura molecular structure eda pathi namba innum or separate ana video la paakala but here what you want to understand is like there is something called as a chromosome on your cell okay so chromatin reticulum to namba cell la padichirpom so chromatin reticulum now it comes and forms as a chromosome or sister chromatids okay so in the chromosome in the pathing, now we have a nucleus so this chromosome is made up of dna okay and that dna has the genetic information of the cell and of the living creature and they are basically made up of proteins all right so now comes to mitosis process mitosis process is majorly divided into four uh, prophase metaphase anaphase and thallophase so Prophase is a phase where the nucleus, uh, nuclear envelope will get disappear. Okay, and there is something called as a centrosomes. So centrosomes in a it will start spreading the spindle fibers. Okay, 
and this is called as a sister chromatids as i told the chromosomes will get shortened and it will form some kind of a structure called as a sister chromatids so metaphase metaphase la vandu pathina the chromosomes will go exactly on top of the cells and sister chromatids so the end side la the spindle fiber will just get attached to it and it will be lying up on the middle and next is the anaphase so anaphase la pathina the spindle fibers will get shortened end side la spindle fibers shorten aagiche the sister chromatids automatically will get split off into two okay so in the video in this photo la pathina you can clearly see the sister chromatids has been cut off half and half went on top and another half is on the bottom so thallophase thallophase la vandha pathinga nuclear envelope dissolve a idu disappear a idu so nalla adu vandu reappear aagum so here you can see like the nuclear envelope is getting reappeared so inside one single cell you can see two nucleus okay and now comes the cytokinesis cytokinesis as i told the cytoplasm will get divided into two and that's called as a cytokinesis so this is how a cell is going to divide into two and this is a microscopic structure of a cell how it's going to get divided into two don't worry much about the dna process uh, we can learn about what is the dna what is the proteins and what is the molecular structure on another separate video so this is just for you guys to understand what is the mitosis process what are the phases are attached to the mitosis process and each phase what exactly happening on a cell so if you like my video please share it with your friends and if you have any comments please comment it please subscribe to my channel and if you feel like any other topics which you need more clarification on please put your comments so that i will make more videos thanks for watching have a wonderful day